Hello and welcome to mycadsite.com and this tutorial will show you how the 3D face command works and later I'll extrude some text just for fun. So I'm going back to a previous tutorial where we created these shapes by adding line thickness to a rectangle and here it is it's a polyline with a line thickness of 24 units. If I change it back to zero you see it looks just like a rectangle which it is and I can make that any height I want and I'm going to make that back to 24 the original height that it was so there's your very quick review on line thickness and if I hide it you'll see that each of these rectangles with line thickness looks like a cardboard box with the top and bottom flaps cut off you can see through them and they're really not solid in any way so if I start the 3D face command and pick four points along the top, press enter. I've now created a face that I can use to cover the top of that rectangle. And you can see now it looks more solid, although it's really just a rectangle with line thickness and a 3D face on top of it. And of course it'll do, you know, create it on uh, the current layer, so I've just used match properties to make sure the back is all in the right layer. So I'm just going to quickly do the same thing with the arm, just 3D face and pick two points and a couple more. And when you're in 3D you need to be very careful of which points you are picking because especially with those snaps on you can snap to another 3D object that is right behind the one you were working on. So let me copy that over to the other arm and if I hide it it's starting to look a little more solid and now I'm just going to have to uh, regenerate so I can zoom in easily on the seat and do another 3D face for the last object here so I pick my points and type in MA for match properties so I can make everything on the correct layer so now if I do a hide, you'll see that it looks nice and solid with just eight objects. They're really not 3D. Um, the faces are, but it's not a 3D object like you'd see uh, from extruding, which I will show you in a second. So I'm going to erase these and go back to my top view and just rotate this around a little and I'm just using my grip editing features here and zoom in on this so this is standard text it's a true type font and if I go to my express tools text and down to explode text and click on it you'll see that it jumps around because it's an express tool but it has exploded the text into different polylines and just to show you I've clicked on it and it's a 2D polyline so what I'm going to do now is make regions out of each of these just to make sure that all of them will uh, extrude properly and from there you can see that it looks the same but instead of being a polyline it's now a region which is capable of using boolean operations which will be explained in a later and I'm just using the union command so that I can join the segments of each letter to make the one complete letter and I'm just pressing enter to repeat the command selecting my objects pressing enter so I'll just go through here and finish all the letters up and now I have regions and each region is its own letter and each letter is a region so now I can extrude it and I select all my regions and give it a height of I don't know three and press enter so now if I go into 3D orbit 3DO and move it around you can see that I've now got solid objects representing the letters and if I type in hide you can see that sure enough they do look 3D and so that's how you can use text um, either for uh, visualizing signs or something else you need it for and it's quick easy and thanks to express tools you can do that now in AutoCAD so thanks for watching this has been mycadsite.com